What's up, YouTube? Con421 here, and welcome back to our Company of Heroes 2 online replay. And we are in season 5. Leave a like for that new intro. Now, I've got a great match for you here on Troy Point. Or, I call it, I'm so mad, I call it Troy's Point. But anyway, uh, I have this match and also a match on the steps. They're both about 20 minutes or so, so I figure we'll give you two for one to start off the season. Um, why not? We're playing with Nick here against two OKW players here. Now this is a very urban map. So I'm in blue here. My plan is to capture the fuel along this side here. And Nick is going to basically guard my flank. He's going to hold the bridge and try to hold the munitions and really be fighting inside the town. And then, you know, if we can make it, if we can basically make attacks on their fuel toward the north here, then we will. And I'm going against an OKW opponent is Polixy. And we're also going against Major Pain. Yes, that is his name. Two OKW players. The problem with the OKW in this game, in an urban map, is they have nothing to counter vickers and machine guns or almost size infantry support guns. Anyway, we're already engaging against Storm Pioneers here. We're in heavy cover, but these are going to get point blank with us, and I'm going to be screwed here, so I'm going to fall back. So I didn't think he would rush this point. He's trying to get back cap with some of his other troops here, but. We're in a little bit of trouble here, and I need, to, I need to fall back. But I'll get my machine gun set up in time, hopefully. Now he's going to go out. But I, at least on my machine gun set up, he's going to start suppressing some of his units here. Nick's going to want Garrison in this house, and he's starting to take shots at him. And he might actually... He almost lost that squad there, so... I almost lost... Well, my squad's down to one man here, so... You know, it's not looking... That was an early rush on my opponent, but he's not been able to capture any of the territory back here. He's starting to do that now, so he kept me briefly off the field. So they have their field, but you can see they both rush for the field here, but they don't have any points connected up here. At least I will have points connected. So I'm going to keep my machine gun in place. I don't know what other enemy OKW units are lurking around. I want to make sure it can fire. And Nick put a maximum in this house here, which is going to be a direct target for enemy support guns soon enough. And this, this match is also um, a great match on how to attack headquarters. So, so we'll see that in a little bit here. I don't want don't to spoil anything. So I have another machine gun and my my unit has been reinforced and is heading back towards this territory here. The graveyard, we will make it ours. And yeah, you can see we actually have some guys. Some OKW soldier there and three British Tommies here. Actually, I think the Americans were called Tommies. Well, they're called Doughboys in World War One. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm going to capture the, the point over here. And our opponents aren't really pressuring us. They're actually shooting at Nick's barbed wire here, and they managed to destroy it. And I'm back capping for Nick here so he can keep his units in position. He has a, he has a nice mortar here, an 82mm mortar. And it's going to try to rain death down upon the OKW. Now, my opponent is going to set up his headquarters here, which is not a bad idea. It is protected from artillery by this building and wall here. So it will be kind of hard for me to take on early on. Same thing with one right here behind this church. It's always good to give yourself some cover, but keep in mind there are buildings I can occupy. Anyway, I'm setting up my machine guns here. Giving them some nice... Um, I should have actually probably just finished that. It was so close to being done here when I'm giving us a cover bonus. Like Besides a light cover bonus. So I'm actually going to finish this here. So now we're both in heavy, well, it's directional cover, right? So the machine gun's in heavy cover here. And I'm trying to help Nick. I do have my units up here shooting down at them. You can't exactly see, look, this is the, the, the bushes here. So the battle plan, if Nick can just hold the center, we're doing pretty well. He has a lot of conscripts here. Now, he has this, I believe he's going to, let's look at his doctrine here. Yes, he has gone with the Soviet shock army, which gives him conscripts. The howitzer. It was great as you get the cost of the upgrade pack, you get PPSH, which is a great unit. You have the 112mm mortar, which is great for the city, and shock troops. So pretty strong commander for the urban fighting here. Probably should have just taken that point. 
Either way, at least neutralized it. Now I'm going to start capturing some points on here. I want to see what my opponent has, because he's probably going to infantry support gun, which he is doing right now. And I pop my units in that church so we can actually start shooting at him. It's kind of hard to maneuver in the city with this. So he's basically left his headquarters kind of vulnerable here. I'm going to let him, you know, these guys are stopped in here so I can put a machine gun in here. And once the machine gun gets set up, I'm going to pick its direction and put it right on this headquarters here. So the advantage my opponent thought of having his forward headquarters there is now going to turn into a massive disadvantage because he cannot reinforce without being suppressed. And it's important that we actually target these units. I do have a lot of units in, in this church here, so... The AT gun you ordered is ready. If I can just stop these guys from getting too close to throw an incinerator grenade, which they just popped in here. Two of them, actually. That's gonna hurt, but I'm killing more of his units than I'll lose in here, so... He has to even retreat from this. So it's pretty devastating here. I have an AT gun coming up into the field here, and I, I, I see a big advantage. I'm even gonna call down some artillery onto this position here. I pull my MG back, he's now vet too. I'm gonna have to hop out. The, the church is on fire here. The ability it's bad ready. smoking here. And we're getting bombarded, so it's important I don't lose my squad here. So you know what, he can have this brief victory, we'll call it that. I need to get my men back a little bit, I don't want them to get killed. Nick has secured the middle and is putting up some defenses here. If I were Nick, I'd be constantly bombarding this house right here, because I knew the enemy would probably be in there. Look at these guys, almost killed here. I'm going to AT gun up. Now, the trick to finding the OKW is killing their headquarters. I'm going to have to make a video about... I do have a... I'm actually working currently, just to let you guys know what's going on. Um, well, currently, while this is being uploaded, uh, my computer's going to be in the shop. It It sounds like... It smells kind of like there's a burning um, thing in there, and I'm switching out two hard drives. So, hopefully we can get that sorted. I did uh, de-dust it today. But anyway, going back to... I'm working on a project right now of basically... A beginner's guide to Company of Heroes. So I've actually got most of the first episode kind of. I just need a commentator where I got a bunch of clips I want to show you guys of how how to basically play. So it's mostly for you know. There's some good tips in there just for um, just for new players too. Um, even just basic command keys. Like you should probably know the retreat command key is T. It has saved me a lot of time because you have to click on your unit and then click over here. It does take how you know about half a second, right? If you can make it a quarter of a second, just click the T, you're, you're absolutely fine. Anyway, he lost his little Koopa Bog in here. And he's starting to garrison these things. He's actually sort of bombarding my position, but I do have well, one machine gun back. And yeah, he's taking up some positions in the churches, so I'm gonna need to throw him off of that. Next still, he might he maybe doesn't have the command points to upgrade with the PPSHs just yet. But Kongsrups are honestly just trash, like, they're just not, they used to be so much of a better unit than they are now. They do a Molotov, so we'll give them that, and in numbers like this, they'll actually perform quite, you know, they're doing, they're doing quite well, but, Enemy threatening a they're just point. as bad, though, as the, uh, the Volksgrandeers. The Volksgrandeers aren't a very good unit, either. So my opponent is massing around here. I'm getting my units healed up. And I even built a nice little um, headquarters over here. Now, there's another position. Just like my opponent did, I'm going to make sure I have some kind of a wall to protect myself from mortar fire. Is ready now. I even get commandos. So this is pretty cool. But yeah, I really want to kind of give back. I was I was recently playing Civ Five, and I had no idea what the hell I was doing. So what do I do? I go into YouTube. Same with Men of War Assault Squad. I go into YouTube, so I kind of look at some tutorial videos, right? Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I have played about 600 hours of this game, and... I think I'm an above average player for Company of Heroes too, so I definitely like to uh, try to get back and help people out. And I'm building a mortar in place to try to counter these these infantry support guns that are right here, which are quite annoying. But in my in my opinion, infantry support guns can actually just take out this mortar in place, which we'll see them do in a minute uh, once we, they realize I'm shooting at them. See, the thing is. The OKW, they do need some kind of... I don't want to say artillery. If we just gave them a basic mortar, that would be... I'd be happy with that. Task carried out as ordered. Now, my opponent's advancing. I knew a flame flame thing was going to come there. So I'm going to try to pull back here and get out of the flames where I lose so many units. And if this is a, a four-man squad here, I can set up again here and hopefully... I'm not getting anyone killed. I'm actually sitting in the flames here, so that was a mistake. 
I'm trying to make sure I, I push them back. I do have a flamethrower now, so this is great because I can now flame his units out of the buildings that are here. Well, they were in the buildings. I also have a Stugus Boost devastating next position. It looks like the mortar got completely wiped out. Actually, no, he lost his 82 millimeter mortar, but the 120 is safe. So we're losing right now, actually, pretty badly. Um, we're losing, well, okay, only about 30 victory points, so not too bad. And anyway, I'm looking for his units here. I'm kind of scouting. Now, I do have a forward position established, so I'm just going to kind of see what he has here. I'm going to fall back, because I can heal up my units, which I'm doing. And this guy's back on the front line, so I'm ready for my opponent to push me and attack. I think he's moving in with his conscripts. We do have PPSHs. And he has the more, I mean, besides his opponent having the Stugus of Fuse, he does have, um, he does have a very nice, he doesn't have any, he doesn't really have a way to counter Nick's mortar in place, that's 120 millimeter mortar. Anyway, so, I'm talking to Nick. I mean, I'm just gonna make sure this is the right point here, I don't wanna ruin anything in the video. It's not like I'd ruin anything. I just want to see if this is the right point of what I'm thinking about. An emplacement is being attacked. No, 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 it's not. Okay. So he's actually going to hop into this building again. I'm just. What's great is that I have this nice little forward headquarters established here, and I can. You can see my mortar is just getting absolutely. I mean, it's killed some units. It's just getting absolutely trashed by these. As two. Well, actually, we managed to wipe out um, the pan. The panzer. We managed to wipe out the infantry support gun here. I'm going to remand it instantly with the most expensive the infantry unit, the OKW. One of the most expensive infantry units the OKW has. Actually, only 30 manpower. Yeah, the uh, Ostrupen. Uh, Ostrupen. The Obersodan. Those guys are serious. Those are 50 manpower, I think, per one. They, they keep changing all the variables in this game. So these guys are just hanging out. They're trying to repair, but then I just gave up because that thing was going to get trashed, which it did. And guess what we got? See, if you want to play with the artillery, I will, I will show you the artillery here. This is called a land mattress. I've used it before, but it is quite fun. And we're going to show this setting up here. So I forced my opponent back here. I don't know exactly where his base is. He's even set up. You can see with these, um, he set up a forward headquarters here with the, basically the antennas there. So I'm just going to make sure I dodge any kind of grenades he throws at me. And you can see I'm getting just getting pounded by this uh, spark and stuff to fall back. But guess what? Counter barrage here. Right into all his units here who I knew. I knew these guys were actually... Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Wiped out another infantry support gun. See, I'm, I'm ready for him here. And I knew that he would have his units reinforcing back here. So he's going to move in, and this is going to be devastating for him. We have flames, we have a machine, and he's going to be forced to fall back right to his headquarters there, and I know that. So this is how to execute a perfect pincer movement. We have Nick coming from the north. He's going to come along this route here. And we have all my forces that are going to come along this side here. I was talking to Nick, and I said, let's go. Nick has a half track here to help protect him. He hopefully will not lose that. So this unit's actually going to get decimated, my, my opponent here, even though Nick did lose a conscript squad here. So Nick is, it would have if we had timed this perfectly, but this is a very decent pincer movement here. I'm even going to hop in the, the church right here. So you can see him, my opponent is just getting mauled by Nick's units here, between Nick and Nick and I. I have to fall back some units, but these guys are now suppressed with my unit in the church, and I can now start firing my AT gun at his headquarters here. So he is getting pushed back, and this is when he quit. What level was this guy out of curiosity? 81. So he just quit there. We blew up his headquarters, basically. And that is how you do it. That is how you destroy headquarters. Yeah, that was pretty good. And look, all his units got completely wiped out here. The OKW has no more units here. They're now The computer's now building one, but our opponent has doubled down on the Sugasufus. So we gotta move out of here. And actually kill the unit that was retreating. Which is unfortunate. I gotta get this gun back here. 
they did collapse that church. I got my machine gun out of there. I expected that. It would be nice if Nick maybe grabbed... Yes, Nick is grabbing one of these guns here to use against the Wehrmacht. So I do the land mattress still, which got eight kills. You know, that's pretty good for one volley. It takes forever to reload, though, but now it's ready again. We're going to heal up and reinforce. Got another battle. infantry section here. Now, it would have been smart is if I had sort of a little bit of fuel and been able to upgrade all these guys with Brens. I'm starting to do that more and more now. You just got to upgrade your infantry. Even the grenadiers with MG42s. These guys have a Panzerek, looks like they stole from the OKW. Anyway, Nick, what Nick needs with his massive conscript army is he needs medics at base, which he does have, which is good. I'm going to start bombarding this whole position here. And it's not going to be too accurate, actually, but it is going to force him back. In fact, we actually only got, only got two kills there, but... My main part of the attack was right along here. And Nick is blobbing a little bit. We'll give that to... We'll say that. I'm not going to say... But, I mean, it's also a choke point here, so... And another squad wiped out. So our opponents are having very poor infantry preservation. I did lose one squad to Seuss Foos, but that's a little different. And I'm going to be reinforcing getting my units back into the fight here. And this is the human player I'm fighting against down here. Yeah, you can see he doesn't really... Yeah, he's not really standing a chance in this. Anyway, he's actually... The computer's actually going to outflank my... My land match here, so I, we gotta we gotta run. Maybe where's the running act? That'd be interesting if the running actually made those guys slower. They actually did not pursue there, but they have a bunch of Koopa Wagons. But I have a great little uh, Cromwell coming out here, which should help. Definitely be able to take those Kuans, but together they do a lot of damage. You need a unit in heavy cover here. But seriously, they can actually run down your units. So we do have a Cromwell. These guys are still not healed up. Hey, sorry about that. My uh, my computer apparently ran out of memory. I know there's plenty of memory, so it uh, cut out my voice recording there. Anyway, Nick is still trying to hold this. He is of his guys behind cover, but that's stun grenades there. Actually quite deadly. But his conscripts do have 20 kills. Nick is getting... I call this... I said, Nick, this is danger close. And look at the, the land matches there. So, 12 kills. I think what it did was it damaged their, their health points too much. And I'm also hunting down these stupid Kukulwagans. He's like trying to run away from me here. But yeah, Nick is Nick is just winning the infantry fights here. The conscripts with PPSHs are quite good. He definitely needs to get that, re, you know, needs to get some engineers out to repair his half track, though. So we we'll start shooting again. We need to actually take those out. Wow, he called it on his own men there. He killed more of his men than Nick's guys there. We need to take out that half track. I'm gonna hunt down the school vine that's kind of trying to get around me. Good for Nick there, though. So, here's what we figure. The red player quit a little while ago, right? He quit at 13 minutes. So the guys are playing six minutes without an opponent, without an ally, a human ally. If we can destroy his two species, he's done. He, he, he will not be able to actually hold. And Nick's getting another half track here. So my plan is to go across this river here and push in behind the enemy lines to take out the Tsukusufuses. And if I do this with my tanks, I think I should be okay. I actually have an AT gun over here, which is a little disappointing. Just gotta make sure it can't hit me. And yeah, it's going around to a tank, so. So we're actually just working on trying to kill enemy units here. 
Which the AI is letting us do. This gun actually sets up quite quickly, the Rakenna Warfare. So you have to be a little careful, but I might even treat up support here, and now I'm going to come across the bridge. And if I can kill Susus, it's game over for him. He did have a lot of kills, 30 kills and 5, mostly against Nick's units, I think. Nick has 80 kills, but he's lost 96 men, so... That's a lot. Anyway, I see his units right here. And he's actually just launching Susus, maybe he thinks he's going to die here. I'm trying to kill this last unit here, with the, so they don't kill me by shooting at me. But this is just devastating. His units are bunched up around his headquarters here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to kill his infantry here. He's gonna be reinforcing though, which is unfortunate. So I'm just gonna try to pull out of here. And this is dangerous. What I'm doing here. I'm gonna pull away. He's gonna do a, a retreat. Nick called the Stormvik down, which is great. Look at that devastating enemy units. And if I can just pull through and, and shoot this last Stugasufus, I think he's done. And the, the time of the replay shows he's done, and that's when he decided to quit. So we're going to get away from that Stugasufus. So the reason we won was one, the guy quit. But uh, also, the early destruction of his headquarters was devastating. His whole army got wrecked. And um, even though the guy was able to hold the left side and the center for a little while, Eventually, he uh, didn't have tanks, and that was what caught up to him. We're giving our points, and I'll see you guys in the next match here. And welcome to match two. We're once again playing as the British. We are with Max in the north, and Nick in the south playing as the Soviets. We are on the match. Well, we're on the map steps, which has been in... This has been around since Coming of Heroes 2 closed the beta. It was the only 4 vs 4 map back in early 2013. Anyway, we're go up, going up against Whitman... His friend, who's not showing up, interestingly enough, it's Andy Rock and Nemesis. Now, my job is to hold the center with Max, and Nick's going to be hitting the south. That's the strategy. We're going to double the, the center area here, and Nick's going to hold the south by himself. We think he can do that. Unless he gets doubled, then I'm going to have to shift over to help him. So that's the battle plan here. Green and the blue player, that's, that's Max and I, will be here, and Nick is going to be in the south. So the steps, generally what we do, especially with four players, is we have two go to the fuel. In this, The top two players would go into the fuel in the center, and the bomb two players would double the island in the south. Once again, two OKW. I personally, I think the OKW is better than the Wehrmacht in some aspects. They have very, very elite infantry here. Um, the Oversodon is a great unit. They have Falschimagers, another excellent unit that can just really... They can do a lot of damage to allied troops. And the, the Veramont has Panzergrenadiers, which are great units also. And no one can combat the heavy tanks of the of the OKW. Like, they have the Yag Tiger, King Tiger, like they have some really heavy units. So I don't have to turn my MG here, but they're already flank. They're doing a good job of trying to flank around here. We kind of can't cover all angles at the same time. And look at this. They're just pushing. They're rushing all these units in over here. And I have two machine guns. Keep that in mind. But, you know, I'm hopefully going to set up this machine gun over here to try to help protect that. Turn my machine gun over here to uh, help cover this side. And he's moving his machine gun. So there's a little bit of... We're not very coordinated here. And I'm going to get outflanked by the Grenadiers here. And there's a Kupelwag in here. There's three of them over here. And if this Kupelwag wasn't suppressing all these units, what's kind of sad is I'm going to actually have to sacrifice this Vickers here just because it's helping pin all these units down. So I'm going to have to fall back. I'm going to take all this damage from this Kupelwag in here. And I can't turn my machine gun on because they're suppressing these units here. So I'm going to try to get out of here, and I know this machine gun's going to die. I'm going to try to retreat it. Maybe he'll get lucky, but it doesn't. So that was a hell of a rush early on here. And I did lose a machine gun, so that's pretty bad. You can see Nick has taken the fuel in this. Well, he's about to finish taking the fuel in the south, and it's up against Nemesis. We're just, we're getting, we're getting attacked pretty badly in the center over here. That was a very quick rush from all those infantry, which I'm sure are about to be reinforced. 
And even Max. What was this? Max had a universal carrier that just got destroyed. Oh, I just... Uncorn, I need to pull Enemy this machine gun back here. To take one of our points. Yeah, we just need to get our composure here. We need to get some more infantry up to the front lines. We, do, we just need like a minute to actually like put a machine gun into position here to stop these guys. But my units are coming in piecemeal. They're actually gonna try to, they're gonna steal my Vickers right here. I hate giving heavy equipment to the enemy here, and they're actually gonna steal it. They're gonna take it right now. However, the Kuvangan is in trouble. It's surrounded and destroyed, so that's good. But that really sucks. You don't want to give the OKW a machine gun early on. Because that's a big that's a big weakness they have. They do not have machine guns. Nick is once again going with the Soviet shock army. Nick likes conscripts and it makes him very decent. So why not? So I'm actually trying to help Nick by shooting at those guys, but I have some of my own problems. Looks like they have another. That's a. That's an MG42. They're gonna destroy my trench here. Enemy action has destroyed our forward position. So I'm gonna get behind some cover here if these guys want to advance. I'm even gonna lay down a mine right in front of me. I'm gonna get my hab track, the eight. This is actually what my favorite British doctor, I think. It's this special weapons regiment. I like the crocodile, heavy fire, resupply half track, and tank hunter sections. I don't really use hold the line. Anyway, I know that we can outflank this guy here, but I see that it is this mine here. And this is what's stupid is that I see it as that mine there, and I saw him put it down, but I'm going to click the attack order, my infantry going to run right into it. Infantry ready to spot and attack nearby so I just put the attack or you can kind of lure enemies into mines that way if they're not paying attention that guy wasn't there and even building a headquarters right here now this is this makes no tactical sense to build it in the open like this I should have put it like over here so for quick it takes a lot of damage while building here I've even kept the one man unit I'm gonna bring the Vickers here which should level that in yep There they go, they're gone. Now I'm gonna turn the machine gun here. And Max <laughs> built a buffers. It looks like a Bofors, actually. The way you're supposed to say Bofors. And it actually looks it's being blocked by the rocks here. But it doesn't make this this position much more defensible. So I'm grabbing a sniper actually. These guys have a mortar, which is pretty good. Good placement of that. I have two machine guns set up, ready to do some damage. Now that they're not, they're not in great positions. Actually, I'm trying to get a trench built here. Marksman trained and away to get it really needs to be over a little more, because these guys, you know, if a unit flanks around this way, I can't actually see them. So that, that is an issue. The north has not been contested whatsoever, so they were tied on victory points, which is a little surprising. They rush so far, they rush so fast though in the beginning against our position though that doesn't it's not really that surprising that they haven't tried to get the north. And it looks like Yeah, he's trying to he's reinforcing his inventory up here and healing up. Once this building's done now, I would have suggested putting it like maybe right here. We wanna give some tree cover from indirect artillery fire. Nick is uh, dealing with some more infantry down here, a lot of folks. But so far, costumes are beating these guys. These are a very low health unit. It could actually get wiped out. He needs a half track. He must. He does not have a half track down here. So I'm kind of afraid. The assault's actually going to get renewed in the center here, and my machine gun is out of position. These guys are in the trench, but they can't exactly see. I'm going to shoot. I'm actually going to. I'm going to retreat my sniper. I don't want him to get killed here. Once again, we have another issue, though, with getting outflanked by a light vehicle like this. We just had an ATA grenade or something. 
And I saw also another machine gun here. So this is this is kind of bad. They are penetrating my lines here, but we aren't. You know, this this machine gun's been around for a little while and it's actually suppressing the units in the main advance here. So you can see our men are defending the positions to the last. Thought that the grenade was going to be aimed at me by the time my position here. So I'm going to fall back with my MG and get reinforced over here. Alright, they're stealing another one of my machine guns. I hate giving up heavy weapons like this, but I didn't have a choice here. I feel like I never had like just a breath, like just a chance to actually just like set up a static line here. They kept good pressure on me. That was good of them. If I could wipe out that squad, that would be great. Which I managed to do, so they lost another squad here. So this is good. I do have my tank hunters here who do have the... Well, at least, yeah, two of them have the anti-tank rifle that my sniper does. He's coming back to the front line. So if they want to rush the little scout car in again, we're ready for you, buddy. We are ready for you. So... Max is over here fighting. He, does, he did give his units Brens. And he's captured the munitions for us, which will help us upgrade our units. I'm healing up my unit here. I need to actually just reinforce it. I'm, I don't know when the next attack is coming, though. They're going to actually try to build a flag here, but that's getting bombarded already. I think as I have to reinforce his units that are desperately need a reinforcement. Very low numbers in these squads here. And it looks like just in time I got my units here to actually start taking on. And we do have the anti the heat grenade basically. Reinforcements so uh, goodbye, my friend. The Vickers really, uh, the Vickers helped out and the sniper probably shot at it. And these guys were great there. So I was ready for him this time. And our opponents are spending all this fuel on these lighter vehicles. Well, not the cool wagon, but at least that flak and the, and they have no fuel whatsoever. We own both fuel sources. We have a ton of fuel right now. A and that 120 millimeter mortar go. is devastating. Only three kills so far, but it's also doing a lot of HP damage. And I actually managed to one of these guys snipe. Actually, the sniper the sniper finished off that squad for Nick. That was my vicar, so that was my responsibility anyway. But I have a tank, I have a Cromwell coming down here to help support Nick. And I'm gonna try to help him out here. He's doing a good job, definitely holding the south against. Now they're kinda trying to double him here. Now their squad wiped out here, so we're. Our opponents are definitely losing men here. And there's a lot of units here, that's six units right there, it's kind of a blob. And as we are focused up north, however, like, <laughs> they're going to now attack from the southern area here. I do have to be careful. I am on free fire here. I want my machine guns to actually shoot at the enemy here. But if I can actually take out this machine gun, because this machine gun will stop Nick. So I managed to kill both Vickers crews, so they can't actually reman those. And yeah, we got behind them. They're... they're in, Retreat is basically cut off here. They're going to take a lot of casualties while retreating. And look at that. I thought we would have run one of these guys over by now. One man left in that squad. It'd be nice if we could actually wipe that squad too, but... He got four units back out of six. Now I see these guys just laid a mine down there, so you can always shoot at them, and I blew up their mine there. So I have to, I have to fall back though because of this unit in heavy cover here. And actually, I've tried to capture in that. A mine was being placed by someone down there, but it's been canceled. They're not going to start attacking the north here, another kind of blob formation. You know, I got my nice half trick up here. This could be my headquarters, and we have a nice Lewis. We have a Vicar. Well, it's actually. A supply carrier it's is a, ready a to Vickers K. I think it's called a Lewis gun is its nickname here, but... Get yeah, my men. Two of them. I'm helping Nick down here. We have an AT in here. I'm going to bring my sniper over who only has three kills. I want I'm not concentrating here, so these guys are kind of screening for us. And yeah, this thing might... This thing almost might kill me here if I'm not careful. 
He's going to have to fall back there. They have built positions up on the hill here, but... Looks like they're getting that. Yep. Our anvil defensive tactics have improved our position enormously. I decided to get the ammo, which gives me advanced warning if I, when I captured uh, territories. I now have the airburst shells. We have heavy engineering. Reporting in. I'm actually going to activate this. It's heavy engineers. It makes them move super slow, though. Yeah, they're very, very slow, but it gives them the ability. They, they get a Vickers K light machine gun, and they're but they can they can really repair and build stuff quickly. So that's that's always a positive. And it allows me to get the Churchill. So our opponents are cut off from field, and if if we can play our cards right here, we have armor on the field before they do. This could work out really nicely. Anyway, they do have a scout car here, which doesn't stand a chance against the tank. He has to pull back because they do have it. He's got to. He's got to get out of here. They do have ATs, and Max is gonna try to pull back these units here. So, and Nick has done a really good job in the south. Max is doing a good job of taking most of the territory up north. With very little forces. He's gonna pull behind his defensive net here. And I'm repairing my tank with him. Anyway, we got a loose over here. Very unfortunate that our grenade did not work there. But keep in mind, it is a Luke's. I do want to be careful about any kind of AT or mines. This is a little dangerous what I'm doing here, but I can I can venture a little bit. And I'm gonna call an attack order here. And I got damaged by the AT here, but that's when this guy decides to quit. Who was it? That was the pink player. His forces, I think, got completely killed in the south by Nick. Let's go to good old Andy here. Yeah, Andy had one squad back at base, so he did not stand a chance. And they still have no fuel. Like, we're getting 36. OKW is getting 24 and 19. So we are controlling the fuel in this match here. A little extra per turn. Now look, I rarely show this, but there's a little tip on this map that you can actually go all the way around. Let's turn the camera here. You can go all the way around this section here and get behind enemy lines. Not a lot of people know about it. They mostly just focus on the inland here. And if he's not careful, another squad wiped out. Look at them putting these, these mines down over here. You can't always tell if they have the little signs here. There's there's S mines. Which he's avoid avoiding. And the Lux is here. That is the computer controlling it though. Now I want to give my units some firepower and have a forward retreat point here, so I'm gonna establish a forward assembly here. But like I said, we have, we have both fuels right now. We can get heavy armor soon enough. And this they don't even have the right, none of the OKW players even have a ability to get heavy armor, and they do have a Luke's out also, so. A trick you can do is you can run over the S mines with the tank or a vehicle. And what that will do is it, will, it won't hurt your tank at all, but it'll just make it safe for your infantry. It's kind of like clearing a minefield. That's one way to do it. You can also get minesweepers here, which he, which he may do at some point if he's in territory. That's also a nice little glider down here. I really like the British. They're a fun faction to play as in this game. He's gonna grab that. Anyway, he has a Puma down here. And the Puma's gonna try to retreat from these guys who probably have anti-tank grenades, which they do. I would throw one on the Puma here. You, Nick has an AT. The Puma will shoot up infantry. Good Nick's gonna throw an AT on there. That'll damage his engine, force him back. So the Puma is gonna get away from this. The enemy are 200 points. This is what's left of the, the Luke's right there, burning. 
But two AT guns positioned right here. Look at these Lewis guns. Look how slow my engineers move also. They're very slow. Our troops are ready to dig in with their support. They don't actually look that slow right there. But they're a little slower than you'd expect. And I have all my units. We're moving up. I'm going to take over this. I have a Churchill here. Anti-tank. It, it can even, uh, anti infantry can even get a line of infantry smoke to support infantry. And it's self-defense. So the crew member will actually throw grenades out. <laughs> and I'm going to push in with all my units here. And I will destroy this thing. These guys are very slow in cover, it seems like. This is when Whitman is gone. And that's when our opponent's side is Good game to our opponents. Hope you guys enjoyed these two matches in Season 5. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Copper from NT2 on signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you then.